Hello everybody, it's Pixie again. Welcome back to my channel. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever you happen to be doing when you're watching this, I hope you're doing it fabulously. And we're going to take off the sweater because almost every time I record, I'm like, it's cold. And no, it's not. Um, I don't know what was on my desk. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Pixie. I do really awkward things. And it's great. Everything's awkward. So I'm waiting on a bunch of things to come in the mail so I can do a haul. But I'm really getting into the whole let's use makeup I haven't used before and I figured I would just record while I do looks to maybe inspire you guys even if you can't get the exact same stuff I have. But it's just supposed to encourage me to use stuff I already have instead of just buying brand new stuff over and over again. I also took out my lip rings because it's a little bit easier to apply lipstick. So the lip rings are not gone forever. They're right here. But sometimes they just irritate me, like if my lips are chapped. So I'm, I used some Carmex. I already did the BB cream and my concealer and my eyebrows. Yay. So that way we can skip that step. But instead I'm just going to talk about the step apparently. So, um, tonight we are going to use the Elsa palette by Beauty Creations and it is cruelty free. I did find this on Amazon and I will try to link it down below if they still have it, but I don't know. The palette is huge and I just, not Disney sponsored by the way, I think it was just called Elsa, but we can obviously see with the color scheme what it was inspired by without saying it's Disney. So this is what it looks like. And in one of my previous videos, which was kind of, it was one of my vlogs, so I kind of sped it up. I did reach for this, but only as like a base color, so I really haven't tried the colors in this palette. So I'm super excited. I figured with Frozen 2 coming out, not sponsored, and Winter, why not do an Elsa type look or just use the palette called Elsa. I'm also going to dip into the Profusion Glitter and Glow. I got this around the holiday season last year and sorry to ring light but you can see how glittery the packaging is and it's one of those kind of all-in-one kits so you can get like Ulta or an outlet or probably Sephora but they're all kind of the same. I took the brushes out because they were crappy. There was like a giant blush brush here and it was just shedding everywhere so you get what you pay for and it comes with like an eyeshadow type palette, a mirror over here, and highlighters, blushes, and the top are little lip glosses that I probably will not use, but I'm just here for the highlighter right here. It looks awesome. And I already swatched it, but I'll swatch it again for you. This time it won't be awkward about my swatches. It's pretty shiny, so I really like that. So that'll kind of cut into like the cooler colors, if that makes sense. So first, we're going to use my ELF eyeshadow primer, which I talked about in my last video. I'll leave a card somewhere if you missed that video. But it's just a natural eyeshadow primer, but I like it because it's not sticky. It just kind of turns into a powder, but it helps your eyeshadow stay better, in my opinion. And it's only $3 at like Target, so if you like stuff like this, cheap, yay. And I do believe ELF is cruelty free as well. Yay! Eyeshadow primer. I just do my basic eye eyelids. I know a lot of people go all the way up to their brow bone, but I just don't. So, if that's your preference, I think it's just like to each their own. If you want to go all the way up, you can, but you really don't have to, in my opinion, because we're just going to be layering color on. This is just to make the color stick on the actual eyelid. I also oiled my chair so it doesn't squeak as much anymore. Yay! Let's see. It's a little bright. There we go. That's better, I think. So I just primed, and it just kind of dries instantly and ends up feeling like a powder, like I said. It's almost like the eyeshadow consistency once it dries. So I really recommend this <laughs> upside down as an eyeshadow primer. I, I don't know if they have different colors. I just kind of got it in the neutral shade. So let's go in with, as my base, I'll go in with this color. They don't have names. They're not on the back, so 
we'll just call this a nice cream shade as a base. And I have my handy dandy unicorn of brushes. And I probably don't use brushes, right? But if it gets the effect you want, just keep using it. Like this is just called Wet n Wild P15. Okay? Whatever that means. It's a little fallouty. Okay. That's not that bad. Okay, it's a little bit worse once you start putting on your eyes because then, like, you can see whew, powder. But for the price, I remember it not being that bad. Like, I'll just say less than $20 because I don't remember what I spent on this palette, but. And I don't know where I'm going with this. I don't think it's going to be Elsa inspired because there's lots of greens and blues in here, but there's also a lot of neutrals, so we're just going to have fun with it. Just to show you, like, one palette, one look, aside from the highlighter from the other kit that I just showed you. So, yeah. just got a neutral base going. Okay. If my makeup videos are terrible, if you're that opinionated, I'm just having fun with it, and this is meant to inspire. I don't, I by no, no means claim, I have words, I promise, to be a makeup guru or an expert. I just have fun with makeup because makeup is awesome, and it's just like painting. Like happy trees. You have no wrong or right way to do it, in my opinion. So, I'm going to go in with this purple as my second shade. It's really pretty, and even though I'm all about the rainbow, if I had to pick probably be purple as a favorite color. So I'm going to go in with this little mermaid brush. And I have cats, so sometimes you get the little stray fur hair. Fur hair? Moving on. So... <sighs> Fall out. <sighs> but hey. It's not really going on much, but I feel like I could layer it, like build it up. Kind of go up into the crease with it. Because we're just going to keep adding color until I say stop. And you can't really bend this back, which is kind of irritating because it's bulky. But I don't want to tear the packaging, so we'll just deal with it. If it drives you crazy how I apply eyeshadow, look away. <laughs> So there's a little bit of fallout, like in the corners, so I'm going to brush that away really quick with a giant brush. So, so far I like this purple, but it's just, it takes a lot to build it up, but if you have the patience, or maybe like a white primer, it would pop out, pop more. I really don't have words tonight, I apologize. So I'm just going to go over it one more time to get the look I want or that shade of purple more fallout so I don't want to go too overboard with it since as you can already see it's right there just, just kind of dust that away before I blend all of it <laughs> Wow, that was a lot of fallout. I did not expect that. That was three tries and a ton of fallout. But we'll fix it somehow. In my last video, I did like a corner thing and it like fell out so much. It looked, made me look like I had a black eye, but it was like a pistachio color. And I was like, we're not going to do that again with the corner this time. <sighs> That's a lot of fallout. Okay. fallout -y Elsa palette. Alright, new color. Um, I think I'm going to go on the brow bone with like some kind of a shimmery-ish. We're just winging this. 
but I'm not actually going to wing it, so no pun, pun intended. So we'll just take this guy, and I will go in with... Yeah, I don't plan on any of my makeup videos. I'm going to try that light aqua. Usually I don't like blue eyeshadow on me because I feel like it makes it look like Barbie-ish on me, but if it's not the main color, maybe we can get away with it. So this is kind of a flat brush, and we're just going to paint a little blue tree on my face. More fallout. That's like so dusty. It's like barely showing up. There's not a lot of buildup on this palette. But maybe we'll just go for a subtle look. We shall see. Whoa. <laughs> Do you see that? The fallout was so bad it kind of went overboard. I'm brush that away. Wow. Maybe. Okay, it's not bad. I don't hate it, but I feel like the pale colors are kind of washing me out, so maybe we'll just go in with a darker color in the corner. Not like pistachio, like my last video. So I'm going to get an Itsy Bitsy brush from my little collection here. And maybe this guy with a fine tip. So maybe we'll try this, it's like a shimmery teal, if you can see that. Maybe that would be a good corner color. You can barely see it. So this palette does require a lot of build up. I'm kind of liking that. Okay. So it's not so pale, and then you have this little pop of a dark teal in the corner of the eye. Yay! I kind of like that. It's subtle, but it's still like a bold pop of color, so maybe I'll do like the, the outer corners. Let's try that. Because we're just, we're having fun with it. And I'll do something else for the lash line. I'm kind of liking that. Okay. Pixie approved. And then for the lash line, like the lower lash line, I'm going to pick a darker color again. Maybe tie it in with... Mm, I'm between that one that one. But I'm thinking I'm going to go with that darker purple. It's got a slight shimmer to it, so. My little angled brush. Let's do the lower lash. Very pretty, like deep purple. It kind of ties it back in, so I'm liking that. And then I might do like a highlight by the brow bone, just like a subtle hint of something. So I'm going to go in with that guy, which is like a very light blush rose type color. Focus, thank you. Yeah, it's almost like a highlighter. It kind of matches the highlighter I'm going to use as a highlighter. 
so some of these shadows can actually double as a highlight. And see where it picks up in the brow bone. I really like that. And then next, before I go to the mascara, I actually grabbed a basic glitter eyeliner in white, and I'm going to just go on with the lash line, the upper lash line with this, just to give it like a little pop of glitter. So when the light hits it, sparkly, kind of like Elsa, so we're kind of pulling from the frozen thing, so I'm really liking how this is turning out. I'm like, where did it go? I got these off hush, so I don't know if I'll be able to find them online for you guys. In the description down below, I try to use, or try to find all the products that I use and link you guys. Yeah, I like that. And you can never have too much glitter, so I'm going to go over it again. I'm really getting that, like, wintery feel from this makeup. I like it. As for the mascara, I'm going to let this dry a little bit. Um, my last video, I just said I like to buy little sampler mascaras, and once they run out, I'll either decide later if I want to like repurchase it. So that I'm, I haven't bought a full-size mascara in about a year. So when I find like the little minis, I'll try them, and if I like it, then I'll go buy the full-size one if I can find it again, and then I'll just go through my mascaras, find something I like. Which, if you're unsure about makeup, it's always good to get the smaller or trial versions first if you can. So this one is by W7. It's called... It will not focus tonight. There you go. Massive Lashes. And it came in this little tin called Kapow Knockout Lashes. I got this at an outlet for $6.99, and it came with two others. And I remember liking the yellow one, but I haven't really tried the Massive Lashes one. It just says Volume Mascara. So that's the brush, or spoolie, whatever you want to call it. Okay, I like that. What do you think? <laughs> so next we're going to go into the Glitter and Glow Palette by Profusion. It's just called Beauty Kit. So I haven't even taken the plastic off the eyeshadow side. Sorry, glare. But the eyeshadows are just kind of like your basic colors. Like, good, like I said, a good starter set. And I like this black, so I might try that. It's actually a glitterly, glitter, glitterly, glittery black, black, matte. <laughs> So we're just going to go in with a basic big fat brush and do the highlighter and see if I like this highlighter. Okay, I like this highlighter. That's pretty good. Fallouty, but Perfusion is like a mid-range makeup price, so there will be fallout but yeah it's showing up pretty darn well I'm liking that highlighter a lot and sometimes I'll do like the nose and like the neck but since this is just a makeup look we'll move on and for the lips because we're going for a wintry cooler look I decided to reach for the NYX liquid suede in it's called Industrial Paradise, and in the tube it kind of looks like a gray, but when I swatched it, it was a blue. And this is why I took out the lip rings, because some of the NYX liquid lipsticks are hard to just... They don't matte down very quickly. I also put Carmex on my lips because of the dry air in Florida right now. Dry cold, whatever you want to call it. But we'll see how well this mattes down, because you can see it's kind of runny on the little doe foot. See, it goes on blue, and it looks 
like gray to me. I don't like it. <laughs> I think it takes a strong person to pull off blue, ice blue lipstick. So I'm gonna press it on some tissues. That went on heavy, so be warned if you get this color. See, it doesn't look bad once I dab it down and it's more dry, but that came out so thick. I don't know if I would reach for this color again. Thank goodness it's just like a little guy. I mean, I wouldn't wear it to my family reunion, but it's a unique look for the blue lipstick. I do like the eyes. I do like what I did with that and the glitter liner and the highlighter, but the blue might be a little much if you're going to like see your great aunt or something. So I think I'm going to reach for a topper and see if that tones it down a little bit, but still have like that frosty look. Definitely frosty look acquired. So I just reached for the first one that I saw, so <laughs> it's so worn down you can't even see what it is anymore, but I think this is clean color and it's just called Whimsical, but they're meant to be holographic lip toppers. So there you have it. <laughs> That's definitely a frozen inspired look because my lips look cold, but I don't hate it. Um, I think next time I would go for like a darker lipstick just to like make the pale colors and like the contrast, but let me know what you think down below if it was more Elsa inspired or if you get like that wintry vibe from it because I really don't mind this look at all. I might actually do the eyes and the highlighter as a regular thing but like I said with like more like neutral lip or a deeper lip instead of just going blue and purple and then blue on the lip hmm. I don't hate it like I said but I think it's just like the shock of having blue lips that just it kind of ties in together though so let me know what you think like honest opinions I think this color blue would be a really hard shade to pull off on a regular basis or if at all maybe I need to figure out a different way to like make it more subtle like blend it with a different color I don't know anyway I will try to link everything down below that I used if I can find it I mean some of these lower end palettes or mid, like mid-level palettes don't they don't make anymore but like I said I found one on Amazon and the glitter and glow kit I found on maybe on outlet like TJ Maxx or something and I find W7 in a lot of outlets as well for the mascara and of course NYX you can pretty much find anywhere but these specific sets are like year to year or like holiday collections so anyway I hope you enjoyed watching this I hope it was at least entertaining if not inspiring and as always if you want to wear makeup and it makes you happy keep doing it because it's not hurting anybody else that's what this whole channel is about and you know what? Screw the haters, because if it makes you happy, just keep doing it if you're not hurting anybody else. Duh. <laughs> and as always, feel free to subscribe, hit that bell down below so you know when I do update. I update things like makeup, fashion, thrift hauls, Disney, my cats. I do a lot of vlogs, like walk around with me so you can see into my life. And as always, stay fabulous. <laughs> Bye guys, Pixie out. <laughs>